Hello, YouTuber Torrent Patriots. Loser who shows desolate, shows peasants, vassals, minions. I'm useful idiot, welcome. And, uh, here we are back in the old, good old USA again. And, uh, doing a uh, series on uh, corporate scum and banker scum. One of my favorite topics. And even though it's not a hot topic right now, it's always a hot topic for me. And, uh, speaking of, uh, old cases, how about the uh, Bernie Madoff, uh, JP Morgan, uh, financial crime of the century, and uh, and of course that's exaggerated. Call it crime of the century, but it's a it's a humdinger. And the fact that uh, they're all going to get away with it in in a manner of speaking. Of course, Bernie Madoff's in jail, and he's wanted to uh, talk about uh, his experiences and the involvement of uh, people in J.P. Morgan, but uh, they're not going to give him the opportunity. So that's all going to stay hush hush. But uh, this news story came out about it that uh, it's pretty. Pretty intriguing. Some of these details are pretty gruesome, as I like to say. And uh, it's only 1,129 accounts from the Bernie Madoff scam have been made whole. And 36,000 accounts from around the world have not received a dime. And uh, this is six years later after that giant Ponzi scheme collapsed. And, uh, and it turns out there's supposedly another 43,000 who hadn't even filed a claim yet. So in other words, this uh, first of all, this uh, uh, Ponzi scheme was much, much, much bigger than anyone has uh, really talked about. I'm not really sure what the numbers would be. Uh, the original figure, I think, used was $17 billion, And uh, they're saying that upwards of $64 billion and some of this is uh, associated wealth that would have been uh, accumulated uh, since then. But a lot of that is just an inflation of just how much was involved in this Ponzi scheme. And uh, so we're talking about another 70, nearly 80,000 people who have not received a dime, half who have not filed a claim and half who have filed a claim and not received anything. And... Uh, it's kind of interesting if you go back to November 2013. There's a press release that spoke of uh, they were going to getting re getting ready to accept 11,000 claims, and it turns out there's 80,000. So uh, yeah, 51,700 claims with 36,000 reporting zero restitution. So um, this is uh, just an amazing amount of. Uh, of uh, Losses, uh, losses, seventy-seven percent, up to five hundred thousand uh, dollar investment lost, nine point five percent of five hundred thousand to a million dollars loss, and thirteen percent of more than a million dollars loss. So I would speculate that those uh, top accounts that were made whole, one thousand one hundred twenty-nine, are certainly going to be insiders and people who are more in the uh, upper zone of over five hundred thousand and over a million dollars invested in these accounts, and uh, the, the SEC knew and ignored and abetted, abetted this, and uh, just, uh, just staggering all the way uh, across the board. Uh, six years later, many of Madoff's victims gave their money to hedge funds, banks, and funds who co-mingled uh, the money with many other investors and then placed the money with Madoff under the fund's name. That's one of the reasons why... Um, it's being uh, very difficult to sort this all out and get everybody covered. Uh, one factor is the principal is being returned and not the fictional profit. So that's another thing is people are, are ma being made whole on uh, what they put in originally and not what their uh, fictional profits would be. But that's unfortunately a loss because if they were invested in uh, this Ponzi scheme, it was around for decades, uh, they invested in this Ponzi scheme. They're not going to get the uh, the interest and uh, increase in assets that was accrued. Um, Two point nine billion dollars in claims have been uh, approved. Uh, One point two billion dollars has been distributed, and another nine billion is available from the Justice Department through uh, forfeited assets, getting things back from the Madoff estate. So, two point nine billion approved. One point two billion distributed. And so a total of uh, uh, somewhere around 10 or 11 billion, but they need 
16 to 40 billion to to make everybody whole. So they're nowhere close um, to uh, uh, making uh, most of these people whole, not by any stretch of the imagination. Um, part went out uh, to pay off made off creditors. So of course, in all these cases, um, even the uh, even the uh, people that invested are going to lose out, especially all the the smaller investors, and uh, yet all the creditors, everybody that made off own money, is certainly going to get paid right off the top. And uh, interestingly enough, too, uh, six years later, Madoff has never testified under oath, is my understanding, and nobody from J.P. Morgan has testified under oath, certainly not about uh, this particular situation. Um, so, like I said, SEC knew and ignored uh, knew about this and ignored and abetted it. J.P. Morgan was even charged with two felonies for aiding and abetting uh, this Ponzi scheme for 20 years. And they got uh, deferred prosecution, of course, uh, the usual, and a small fine, $350 million fine, and $1.7 billion paid to the Justice Department, uh, small potatoes to get out of uh, essentially a crime of a huge magnitude. And uh, the Justice Department actually ended up protecting uh, J.P. Morgan uh, by blocking subpoenas by federal regulators, another uh, fine noble act by the Air Colder and Bomb Administration. Uh, so this is uh, not only a, a crime um, involving Bernie Madoff, but of course a crime involving J.P. Morgan. And it turns out that uh, Helen Davis Chapman, who uh, was a um, investor with the Madoff scheme, has a new book coming out called J.P. Madoff, The Unholy Alliance Between America's Biggest Bank and America's Biggest Crook. And um, I subscribe to that view. This is uh, America's biggest bank uh, in, in alliance with America's biggest crook, Bernie Madoff. Uh, like I say, this could easily involve $64 billion or some unknown quantity of money ripped off in this uh, scheme. And uh, this... Uh, this uh, book makes that connection that this amount of money could not be um, uh, handled this way without a major financial institution being involved, and that major financial institution is J.P. Morgan. And uh, in fact, it says uh, in her book, quote, Madoff could not have stolen $64.8 billion without the complicity of a major financial institution, unquote. Uh, from 2006 on, Madoff kept $4 billion in his account at J.P. Morgan. And, um, of course, J.P. Morgan likes to have that kind of money on hand because they uh, commingle it, co on it and, uh, and uh, load out against it. So it's another asset they, they like having around, regardless of what they may know about Madoff. And then uh, and the fact that they didn't know that this... Uh, uh, huge uh, uh, Ponzi scheme was going on when between 1986 and 2008, a uh, 22-year period, uh, $150 billion went through that one account by uh, Bernie Madoff. Um, and there's 12 people in the, in the Madoff inner circle, so there's only 12 people that are in on this Ponzi scheme, e easy to keep under wraps. But J.P. Morgan knew that Madoff was an SEC-regulated broker who was retained by customers to buy securities for them. So let me uh, start this again and remind you that this is the crucial point where we find that J.P. Morgan is complicit in this Ponzi scheme with J.P. Morgan as a, as a criminal organization. J.P. Morgan knew that Madoff was an SEC regulated broker who was retained by customers to buy securities for them. They saw no transactions in Madoff's account indicating he was purchasing securities for his customers. Instead, Billions went to Madoff's co-conspirators or were wired overseas. And let us let me remind you, 20 years from 1986 to 2008, $150 billion went through this account. None of it was used to buy securities for its customers or a very, very small amount. And everything in that account went to Madoff, his co-conspirators, or was wired overseas. And uh, J.P. Morgan made a, a, also, in the final days of... Uh, just before the Madoff fall, uh, J.P. Morgan came out uh, and, had, and showed a report that uh, they realized that there was irregularities in the, in the account and gave warnings. But at that same point, they uh, gave 
uh, J.P. Morgan gave uh, Madoff an $145 million loan, uh, even after issuing a, quote, notice of fraudulent activity, unquote, Madoff's business account. And he was, in fact, insolvent at that time. And um, so what a what an amazing, sordid story. Uh, I know it's six years later. Most people aren't watching this. But this uh, entire Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme is a staggering criminal act. Um, and and uh, J.P. Morgan's complicity complicity in it is a staggering uh, financial crime, and uh, it's it's just one of the most uh, uh, biggest uh, financial crimes of the 20th century, and uh, now the 21st century. I'm sure we got some uh, bigger ones coming down the, the pike, but uh, for the time being, uh, this one's huge, and hopefully uh, we'll see some uh, some more. Uh, repercussions, but of course nothing will happen because uh, J.P. Morgan controls the world. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?